fishermen who use the port near the big station were bringing in more fish than ever before. Each day, the sheds on the quayside were piled high with boxes. Much of this extra fish had to travel by rail, so the trains which Henry and the other engines had to pull became heavier. One night, a special load of fish was ordered and the fat controller decided that extra vans must be added to the train that the men called the Flying Kipper. The only spare vans that they could find were old ones that had been standing and used on a siding for some time. Workmen cleaned them quickly, and they were added to the tail of the train. Henry grumbled dreadfully about it, but there was nothing to be done. You'll just have to put up with it, Henry, said his driver. At least the extra load will mean we can have a banker up Gordon's Hill. Duck often waited at Edward's station so that he could help heavy trains by pushing behind. Tonight, Henry made good progress in spite of his extra load. When they reached Edward's station, his driver stopped the train beyond the platform. Then, using Henry's whistle, he gave the special signal which meant that he wanted help up the hill. Peep, 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 whistled Henry. I need a banker, please. Peep, peep, replied Duck. I shan't be long. Duck buffered gently up to Henry's train. He was not coupled on, so that Henry could run on without stopping when they reached the top. Ready, Duck whistled. Pull hard, pull hard, puffed Henry. We're doing it, we're doing it, replied Duck. Henry was pulling harder than he thought. It was a dark night, and Duck felt the weight on his buffer slacken. Because of the dark, he could not see that Henry had taken the train on his own and was slowly drawing ahead. All trains carry a red lamp on the final vehicle to show that the train is complete. This is called a tail lamp. Duck's driver began to be worried. There's no sign of a tail lamp, he said to the fireman. But we must keep going. Duck whistled, but there was no reply from Henry. Henry, meanwhile, was going well, but his train seemed to be getting heavier. He had to keep moving, but he could not avoid slowing down. Suddenly, from behind him, there came a splintering crash. Duck's front bent and pieces of broken wood began to fall on him, one of them denting his funnel. He stopped quickly, and Henry, feeling the jolt, stopped too, just beyond the top of the hill. Over Gordon's hill, a smell of fish hung on the air. By the light of torches, the drivers and firemen tried to work out what had happened, while the guard ran back down the hill to warn the signalman. When daylight came, it was all too obvious. The lamp iron on the old van which should have held the tail lamp had broken, and the lamp had fallen off at the bottom of the hill. Not your fault, Duck, said the fat controller. That lamp iron should have been checked. Don't worry, we'll soon have your funnel on front straightened out. Thank you, sir, said Duck sadly. Thomas told me once to be careful about fish. He was right, sir, wasn't he?